tried it, uh, so you don't have to. Talk of the town. And I was the talk of the town because Patrick pinches butts. <laughs> butt pincher. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So for this video, I thought we'd do some more general knowledge quizzes and kind of see how well we do. Uh, these ones are going to be kind of music related, just some random general knowledge and some Disney quizzes. So why don't we dive right on in and see how well our general knowledge is. All right, so can you spot 13 out of 15 hidden Easter eggs in these Disney movies? Even the most casual Disney fans are probably aware of some Easter eggs in references to other Disney movies. All right, to play the game, look at the movie scenes below and tap on the Easter egg. Let's start with an easy one. One of Ariel's friends from The Little Mermaid made his way into the scene from Aladdin. Tap on him. It's Sebastian. Correct, Jeannie accidentally pulled Sebastian out of his royal recipe book. Can you spot the Lion King reference in this scene from Hercules? Tap on it, yep. Yeah. yeah, Hercules is wearing a lion costume that looks like Scar, symbol, Simba's evil uncle from the Lion King. Can you spot Rapunzel on her way to the coronation in Frozen? Tap on her, yeah, right here. Rapunzel and her husband Eugene walk on screen from the bottom left corner. Can you spot the Beauty and the Beast characters masquerading as an everyday object in the scene from Tarzan? Yep, right here. Correct, Mrs. Potts and Chip are part of the tea set Turk found. Let's make it a little more of a challenge. Can you find the Incredibles in the scene from Coco? Tap on them. Oh, it's a poster. An Incredible family appears on a poster in the Land of the Dead. Which character from Toy Story found their way into the dentist's waiting room and finding Nemo. Tap on them. A uh, buzz. There's a Buzz Lightyear action figure in the waiting room. Toy chest. Interesting. Can you find Remy from Ratatouille in the scene from Onward? Tap on him. Is it, is he right here? Remy is of course working in the kitchen. Too funny. Where's Dumbo in this scene from Lilo and Stitch? Right here. Lilo has a Dumbo plushie resting against her sketch pad. Let's make things a little more challenging. There's a reference to Lady and the Tramp in this scene from The Lion King. Tap on it. Uh, a reference. Oh, right here? Yes, the shadow of Jock, one of Lady's friends, is among Scar's hyena army. I never noticed that one. There's a hidden Mickey in this scene from Aladdin. Tap on it. What well, is it, the ears? Yes, Raja transformed into Mickey Mouse for a split second. Where's the Finding Nemo reference in this scene from Monsters, Inc.? Is it the clownfish? Nemo himself is painted on the wall behind the sushi chef. Okay, now it's about to get really challenging. There's a Dumbo reference in this scene from A Bug's Life. Tap on it. Uh, Casey Jr. Cookies, J. Grant Bakery. Uh, is it the tent? Oh, no. Casey Jr. is the name of the circus train in Dumbo. Oh, I haven't seen Dumbo in forever. There's a nod to Snow White in this scene from Tangled. Tap on it. I'm assuming it's the hmm. is it the apple correct rapunzel painted an apple on her staircase railing a subtle nod to snow white anna and elsa are represented in this scene from zootopia tap on them uh are represented hmm. it's not fish town chill out oh Two little elephants dressed as Anna and Elsa are skating through Tundra Town. Too cute. And finally, this scene from Toy Story has several references to Pixar shorts. Tap on one. Okay, well, Tin Toy would be one. Several of the books share their titles with Pixar shorts. So there's Tin Toy, there's Knick Knack. Very interesting. You're a total Disney expert. I got 13 out of 15 right. Sorcerer Mickey better hold on to his hat because you're a total wizard. Amazing job. 
All right, let's move on to the next one. So our next quiz is, if you get eight out of 10 on this quiz, you have random knowledge coming out of your ears. So in the alphabet song, how many letters are between L and S? Four, five, six, or seven? Well, I'm gonna have to sing it out. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S. So there's seven. I think that's six. Oh, did I count S? I counted S. Oops, six. In which season is daytime the longest? That is in the summertime. Correct. Which of the following graphs is a circle? A pie chart, a scatter plot, a histogram, or a line graph? Well, it would be a pie chart. Correct. Which of the following movies does Adam Sandler not play opposite Drew Barrymore? Is it The Wedding Singer? Is it blended? Is it 50 First Dates? Or is it just go with it? Isn't it just go with it? Correct, he played opposite Jennifer Aniston. Which of the following children's books is written by Maurice Sendak? Is it Rainbow Fish, Where Are the Wild Things, Corduroy, or The Very Hungry Caterpillar? Is it Where the Wild Things Are? Correct, Rainbow Fish was written by Marcus Fister. Corduroy was written by Don Freeman, and The Very Hungry Caterpillar was written by Eric Carle. Which of the following herbs is known as coriander in some parts of the world? Is it thyme, cilantro, parsley, or rosemary? Isn't it cilantro? Correct. Which of the following is not a type of drum? A snare, a bass, a bongo, or a tempo? Is it a tempo? Correct. How many amendments are there in the United States Constitution? Oh, who the heck knows? 26, 27, 28, or 29? 27? Correct. Which of the following countries does not touch the Pacific Ocean? Is it Fiji, Russia, Chile, or Morocco? Is it Morocco? Correct. It's bordered by the Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea. Salma Hayek played which famous painter in a movie? Maria Izquierdo, Fanny Rabel, Frida Kahlo, or Remedius Varro? It's Frida Kahlo. Correct. I got 9 out of 10 right. Spectacularly marvelous mind. Sometimes I lie awake at night tossing and turning, trying to figure out the secrets of the universe. That doesn't happen to you, does it? Because you already know everything. All of these answers are known to you. So it's no wonder you ace this quiz. Oh, shock. Let's move on to the next one. If you like music at all, you should get at least 20 out of 24 on this quiz. Who is Mamma Mia by? Madonna, Abba, Cindy Lauper, or Blondie? It's by Abba. Correct. I Will Always Love You is originally by Dolly Parton, but who sang the most famous version? Mariah Carey, Tony Braxton, Whitney Houston, or Wham? It's Whitney Houston. Correct. Who is Hey Jude by? Billy Joel, Elvis Presley, Grateful Dead, or The Beatles? The Beatles? Correct. Who is Baby One More Time by? Justin Bieber, Christina Aguilera, Lady Gaga, or Britney Spears? Well, it's Britney. Correct. Who is Bohemian Rhapsody by? David Bowie, Queen, Pink Floyd, or The Rolling Stones? Queen. Correct. Respect is originally by Otis Redding, but who made it famous? Gloria Gaynor, Aretha Franklin, the Supremes or Tina Turner? Aretha Franklin. Correct. Who is Single Ladies Put a Rain on It by? Beyonce, Sierra, Fergie, or Rihanna? Beyonce. Correct. Who is Let's Get It On by? Marvin Gaye, Prince, Diana Ross, or Megan Trainer? It's by Marvin Gaye. Correct. Who is Uptime Funk by? Bruno Mars and Mark Ronson, Pharrell Williams and Mark Ronson, Justin Timberlake and Mark Ronson, or Jason Derulo and Mark Ronson? Bruno Mars and Mark Watson. Correct. Who is Mr. Brightside by? Coldplay, The Strokes, Fall Out Boy, or The Killers? It's by The Killers. Correct. Girls Just Want to Have Fun is originally by Robert Hazard, but who made it famous? Cindy Lauper, Eurythmics, Madonna, or Katrina and the Waves? It was Cindy Lauper. Correct. Who is Living on a Prayer by? ACDC, Leonard Skinner, Bon Jovi or Bruce Springsteen? Isn't it Bon Jovi? Correct. Who is Heya by Missy Elliott, Lil Wayne, Shop Boys, or Outcast? It's by Outcast. Correct. 
who is Piano Man by Elton John, Phil Collins, Fleetwood Mac, or Billy Joel? Elton John. Oh no, it's Billy Joel. Darn it. Uh, I was thinking of Tiny Dancer. Oh well. Who is Livin' La Vida Loca by? Ricky Martin, Enrique Iglesias, Mark Anthony, or The Backstreet Boys? It's by Ricky Martin. Now I'm second guessing. Correct. Who is Back in Black by? Guns N' Roses, Kiss, Aerosmith, or ACDC? Is it ACDC? Correct. Who is No Scrubs by? Alia, TLC, Monica, or Brandy? It's by TLC. Correct. Who is When Doves Cry by? Shaka Khan, George Michael, Grace Jones, or Prince? It's by Prince. Correct. Who is Get Low by? Chameleonaire, Ludacris, Lil John and the East Side Boys, or T Pain? It's Lil John and the East Side Boys. Correct. Who is I Will Survive by? Donna Summer, Gloria Gaynor, Nina Simon, or Simone, or Whitney Houston? It's Gloria Gaynor. Correct. Who is Mambo Number no. 5, A Little Bit of by Aqua, Lou Bega, Ricky Martin, or Juanes? It's Lou Bega. Correct. Who is Total Eclipse of the Heart by Bonnie Tyler, Cher, Janis Joplin, or Stevie Nicks by Bonnie Tyler? Correct. Who is Walking on Sunshine by The Go-Go Girls, Bangles, Katrina and the Waves, or Blondie? Oh my gosh. Uh, is it Katrina and the Waves? Correct. And who is Eye of the Tiger by Foreigner, Survivor, Kansas, or Journey? It's by Survivor. Correct. I got 23 out of 24 right. I'm a music expert. You know a lot of music, which means you have impeccable taste. Well, I'd say I know a lot of just general knowledge in music, facts, and kind of like who sings like the most popular songs. Let's move on to our final quiz. This random trivia quiz is slightly tricky, so I will be impressed if you get at least 12 out of 19 right. What is the title of this Usher album? Is it Here I Stand, 8701, or My Way? Is it Here I Stand? Correct. David Bowie played Jareth the Goblin King in what film? Willow, Labyrinth, or Legend? Labyrinth. Correct. Prior to the 1980s, what menu item could not get what a menu item could you not get at McDonald's? A Big Mac, Chicken McNuggets, or an Egg McMuffin? Was it an Egg McMuffin? No, it was Chicken McNuggets. Interesting. Who won the first season of American Idol? Was it Fantasia Barino, Clay Aiken, or Kelly Clarkson? It was Kelly Clarkson. Correct. What Taylor Swift music video is this from? You Belong With Me, Shake It Off, or I Knew You Were Trouble? It's You Belong With Me. Correct. Which classic rock band used sued Napster for copyright infringement? Was it Metallica, Led Zeppelin, or U2? Is it Metallica? Correct. Which of these shows was not a Disney Channel show? That's So Raven, Phil of the Future, or iCarly? It was iCarly. Correct. What year was the iMac first released? 1996, 1998, or 2000? Wasn't it 98? Correct. How many albums did One Re Direction release after Zayn Malik left the group? Zero, one, or two? Wasn't it zero? No, they did release one. Which celebrity famously sported a Borat-style green mankini on a cruise? Was it Will Ferrell, Dave Chappelle, or John Mayer? Uh, was it Will Ferrell? It was John Mayer. Ooh. Who was President George H.W. Bush's vice president? Was it uh, Walter Mondale, Dan Quayle, or Michael Dukakis? Walter Mondale? No, Dan Quayle. Ooh. Who was the very first host of The Daily Show? Was it Craig Kilborn, Stephen Colbert, or Jon Stewart? Wasn't it Jon Stewart? No, it was Craig Kilborn. How many top friends were you allowed to have on MySpace? 8, 10, or 12? Wasn't it 10? 8. Ugh, I never used MySpace. Which book series came out first? Red Rising, Hunger Games, or Twilight? Uh, 
Red Rising? No, it was Twilight. What was the name of RuPaul's single that helped Ru cross over into mainstream? Was it Supermodel, You Better Work, Sissy That Walk, or Snapshot? Uh, was it Sissy That Walk? No, it was Supermodel, You Better Work. Oh, good to know. What was VHS's big competitor in the format wars? Betamax Video Compact Reel. Um, AVR Video was VHS's big competitor in the format wars. Uh, was it AVR Video? No, it was Betamax. Okay, in 1997, Tyra Banks became the first black model to appear solo on the cover of What Magazine? 17, Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Issue or Vogue? Would it be 17? No, it's Sports Illustrated. Wow. What Rihanna music video is this from? Rude Boy, S&M, or Don't Stop the Music? Isn't it S&M? No, it's Rude Boy. And finally, the Beatles are originally from what city in the UK? Glasgow, Manchester, or Liverpool? Is it Liverpool? Correct. I got 8 out of 19 right. Okay, so you didn't know the answers to most of these. But honestly, who cares? The more important thing is that you enjoyed taking the quiz and maybe learned a fun, a fun fact or three while taking this. Well, I would agree with that. A lot of these were hard or just random stuff that I just didn't know. But anyways, all right then. And there you have it. Those were just some fun BuzzFeed quizzes. Uh, like I said, I think I did pretty good with most of them. Let me know down below how well you did and if you knew some of the answers that I obviously didn't know. All right, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!